nowadays conversational agents are becoming like wide and widely used so so when we are building such interfaces it is not easy to build everything from scratch so that is where uh, dialogflow es and cx will help us um, it is backed by machine learning algorithms so a user uh, just asks a query it is not uh, as simple as uh, programming so we don't know what the user is going to say so that is where machine learning comes in it can understand a wide or wide variety of uh, sentences and uh, match it to an intent. Uh, intent so that is the core of uh, dialog flow it uh, matches intent and uh, but when es uh, dialog flow es came uh, at that time it was not a uh, very uh, sophisticated tool to build uh, complex workflows so, uh, let's say uh, the user is talking about something and he wants to go into another section and uh, do something it was not so easy to build so there were context there were in input context output context that needs to be tweaked in each and every intent uh, those were uh, pain points in using dialogflow es this is how es worked so we will have just a list of intents and each intent will have a training phrase actions and response so all these are tied together you can't reuse an action for another intent uh, or if it is slightly different intent but uh, action is same then also you cannot uh, reuse so you have to create that whole this whole block separately so dialog flow es just uh, gives us uh, we can just create a list of intents that's it whatever the user is going to say you can just create uh, lots of intents and just match it to them but usually how we uh, design our conversational experience is like a graph so when user gets into this uh, Yes, let's say uh, the products of uh, your company. Uh, it should just uh, be in that particular, uh, say, module, if you will. Uh, similarly, if it is a completely different topic, he should be staying in that. So when uh, when a person asks for change password, uh, he will be in this context. He should not be in. Uh, he should not ask like uh, give another option like uh, giving a weather weather report or anything like that. So this is how we usually. conversational designers build the tractions so uh, that is where actually uh, dialog flow cx and uh, state machines come in uh, dialog flow cx is a completely rebuilt tool uh, it is based on state machines so if you see state machines are a uh, very uh, basic uh, concept uh, on which the or all our computers also work so that there, there will be several states Like say state zero, one, two, and based on the input, it will be inside a different state. So the state might correspond to contexts in a dialog flow ES if you are familiar with that. But uh, here uh, the state itself is a, a context, and based on that and the input that is, that the user is saying, it can either move to the next stage or stay in the same state uh, and so on. So this is how it works. And uh, to build the agents, we also use similar graphical aids. So the console consists of uh, just this graphical UI where you build uh, different states. So initially, the user is in start state. So by default, uh, there can be conditional routes, or else uh, intent-based routes. So when the user says something, he will be sent to a next state, and there the, uh, you might be collecting information from user and so on. Uh, I can uh, show a quick uh, demo of uh, what this uh, looks like. So this is Dialogflow CX console. Let me go into uh, these features later. So you can see the Visual Console is uh, fully graphical, and for each state there will be multiple routes. Either they can be intent routes or can be conditional routes. So that since here there are twenty routes, it is uh, we can view it like this, and uh, we can edit it. and if you want to add new routes we can add it like this can be an intent or a condition and then fulfillment we have to enter it here another really good uh, feature in uh, dialog for cx is all these pages can be grouped together uh, you can see here these are called flows so this particular flow is called uh, address collection flow and whatever happens in here it is like a related to address collection so states are uh, nothing but just the current or uh, where the uh, what is the state of the current state machine so where the user is in the conversation and the page is just like equivalent of state uh, both are like same so in dialog flow cx we call it page so if if the current page is requests it 
code, the uh, user is in this point of conversation. So that is page, and each page will have uh, two uh, like multiple routes. Uh, that is that is what defines the con uh, transition to the next page. So it can be intent routes or condition based routes. And flows are where you combine multiple pages and routes into a module, so that it can be called later uh, from another flow. So flow is just uh, like a module of pages. Uh, it has intent routes, conditional routes, parameters, event handlers, and route routes as well. So from one page to the next page, uh, the user can transition by saying something. It is intent route. Uh, he can transition by uh, using a condition, or else it can be an event. Like uh, he is uh, got a new offer, then transition to the next page like that. So these are pages, and flows are where, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, group of uh, pages modularized into a single kind of function so that it can be called again uh, reused moving on uh, the intents are same as how we use in uh, es but uh, here the intents are not always connected to how uh, what is going to be the action for it intents are completely independent so you can uh, reuse an intent let's say yes or no but in Dialogflow's ES, if you had to do, you, uh, once you add a context to an event intent, you have to duplicate it again and again whenever you want to add yes or no. So let me go here. Uh, if I want to add an intent route, I can uh, select it here. So uh, you can see smalltalk.confirmation.es. So this intent is just what matches it. And the fulfillment, I can have it as a dialog or a webhook or even transition to a next page. So this is completely independent of what action happens. And if you want to create a new intent while building, you can do that as well. Uh, enter the details and also training phrases, and you you will have that uh, intent created while you're creating them as well. So intents are managed separately in Manage tab. So uh, these are just global repository of all the intents, which can be reused are uh, used any time uh, and uh, parameters are just like variables in uh, programming so you can define a parameter like uh, if you want to collect something like order number uh, in this case or a phone number or credit card number in case of any payments then you can add it as a parameter and get it from the user or else you can even uh, set it via a webhook Parameters are most of the time used for conditional routes to connect to next pages as I shown uh, earlier, login equals to true, then go to the next next page. Uh, fulfillment. So this is where we define the action. Whenever it matches an intent or a condition or any route, uh, fulfillment is where we uh, define what happens uh, next. So we can have, oh, in dialog for years, we only had uh, fulfillment uh, as webhook. Only it can send hit an API and just a response. But here uh, in CX, we have multiple uh, fulfillments like intermediate response. So before uh, even hitting webhook, if you want to say something and uh, uh, like here, uh, when the user is trying to log in, it can say, please will wait uh, till I log you in so that it will be like uh, transparent to the user what it is doing and then fulfillment can also do parameter preset meaning it can assign a value to the parameter and uh, it can also have a webhook uh, call which which can even change the parameter value or transition to another page or flow was really required for conversational uh, ui designers uh, till now so whenever there is a uh, the agent is waiting for an input and uh, the user does not say any input or uh, whatever he is saying is not matching any intents or in no conditions are getting matched. So in those cases, we might have to handle it uh, differently so that uh, the user does not get frustrated. And it is called like no matches when uh, no uh, intents are matched and how we want to handle it, whether the user has to say something and redirect to a human agent or something like that. And similarly, no input if the user does not say anything at all. So at that time, what we have to do and similarly, webhook error, uh, most of the times in ES, uh, whenever a webhook error happens, uh, the agent won't know anything and it cannot uh, take next step like it failed. Uh, the user will be just uh, 
hanging, uh, waiting there for a response, but there won't be any response because of the error and it is a bad user experience. So here we can uh, add what happens uh, at an event handler that what happens when we when a webhook error occurs and we can transparently tell to the user that uh, some error occurred, please try again later or uh, please uh, contact a human agent, something like that. A uh, simulator is same as uh, the for ES simulator, uh, but here we can actually simulate like uh, what is happening and save it as a test case. The test cases, uh, how we do it, same, same as how we do it in uh, software engineering. Uh, whenever you make a change later, it will again be tested and those test cases will be evaluated and whatever gets failed, you might have to fix it. So all these, uh, uh, so this is an example of uh, lots of uh, test cases written and this is how uh, how the test cases are running. So whenever a change is made, we can also configure it to run automated test cases as well. Apart from this, uh, there is also more uh, software engineering features like uh, like versions and environments. So we saw about flows. So we can create multiple versions of flows so that uh, it is independent of each other uh, and uh, they can be published separately. For example, account management flow can be published by identity team. Sales team can put, uh, publish a newer version of a purchase item, etc. And all these versions can be grouped into an environment and uh, let's say prod environment and QA environment and it will collect uh, different versions of all those flows. So after uh, everything is sent, uh, tested in QA, this can be pushed to... So this all uh, is analogous to the same as how we do it in software engineering. And experiments is a, a way to do A-B testing. So whenever you are creating a new version, you don't directly uh, push it to prod. Usually you look at the feedback from the users or a particular person, percentage of users and then move them gradually. So there is an inbuilt tool to the, do that as well. Uh, you can uh, allocate traffic percentages for different versions and specify number of days. You can look at the analytics data and then uh, improve, increase the percentage. Analytics here, uh, you can understand the whole journey of how many, how much percentage of users pass to which, uh, uh, which of the uh, intents or which of the pages or flows that you have built and how many of them dropped out suddenly out of it to find out where the problem lies in your region and try to improve it. And similar to ES, you can also find out any unmatched uh, intents and add it to the that to the training phases. And apart from uh, existing analytics, we can also redirect the logs to BigQuery and build even custom dashboards. And, uh, and other uh, lo uh, features are like, uh, you can enable redaction on certain parameters like SSN or credit card number. Usually those are the ones that you collect and uh, uh, lots of standards like PCA require you to uh, in disable logging and any kind of recording on those parameters. So it is kind of inbuilt. And this is quick uh, comparison or uh, summary of uh, ES versus CX. So sequential dialogues are easy to build in CX other than complexity of ES and in intents and actions are re reusable and modularization was not simpler here. We had to go with Nagai agent, but here it is naturally enabled with flows and pages and test cases uh, are a new feature and versioning is uh, applied separately to separate flows and not to the whole agent as an ES and uh, ES uh, really does not allow us multiple teams to work on the agent. But as C CX, you can allocate different flows to different teams and uh, collaborate uh, on them. But uh, since it has lots of features, currently it is like three times more costlier than ES. So that is something to keep in mind when you're recommending to the clients. Hello.